Although exams are the fairest way we have of assessing what a student knows, the impact of this pandemic now means that it is not possible to have these exams this year. I can confirm that GCSEs, A-levels and AS-level exams will not go ahead this summer. This year we are going to put our trust in teachers rather than algorithms. The department and Ofqual had already worked up a range of contingency options. While the details will need to be fine-tuned in consultation with Ofqual, the exam boards and teaching representative organisations, I can confirm now that I wish to use a form of teacher-assessed grades with training and support provided to ensure these are awarded fairly and consistently across the country. I know students and staff have worked hard to prepare for the January exams and assessments of vocational and technical qualifications, and we want to allow schools and colleges to continue with these assessments where they judge it is right to do so. No college should feel pressured to offer these, and we will ensure all students are able to progress fairly just as we will with VTQs in the summer. I know there is understandably concern about free school meals. We are going to provide extra funding to support schools to provide food parcels or meals to eligible children. Where schools cannot offer food parcels or use local solutions, we will ensure a national voucher scheme is in place so that every eligible child can access free school meals while their school remains closed. Finally, I would like to turn to our programme of testing for the virus. There has been a brilliant concerted effort in secondary schools and colleges to deliver testing for the start of this term. And none of this work to roll this out is going to be wasted. Regular testing will take place of staff and students in school and in due course help us to reopen schools as soon as possible. Testing is going to be the centre of our plans to return children back to school, back to the classroom, back to college as soon as possible. Mr Speaker, I never wanted to be in a position where we had to close schools again. I believe that schools should always have their gates open, welcoming children and always being at the heart of their community. The moment that the virus permits, all our children will be back in school with their teachers and their friends. But until then, we have put in place the measures we need to make sure that they continue to progress. And for this reason, I commend this statement to the House.